Hello everybody, this is Yusuf and welcome to my channel. Today is not just about you know how to make a new dish, but it's all about the request that I had from some people to how to do to keep their kebab kubide on the skewer. So I'm gonna show you when you making a kebab kubide, how to what to do to stick it to the skewer not to fall apart. So uh, the step by step on that one, I'm going from the beef, which is or meat, I should say, because you know you might have a beef or lamb and lamb and beef together. So the meat has to be fresh, not frozen, not defrost, and the fat content has to be more than 15%, minimum 15%. If it's leaner than that, then you might have a problem. And also, the most important part of it is the onion, that the amount of the meat that you use for each pound, one medium onion, you have to grind it for two pounds, two, uh, so on. Now, the onion has to be absolutely dry. You drain all the extra water or juice out of it and put it on the meat and mix them together. And it has to be mixing it with your hand with the other ingredients for that least, you know, seven, five, seven, eight minutes. The next things that is very important, your skewer has to be dry, clean, not wet, no greasy. And when you did all those things, when you go to the grill, it's very, very important. The first portion of it has to be very hot when you put it on a grill. And every 10 seconds, remember, very important, every 10 seconds you have to turn the skewer. You keep doing it for at least, you know, five or six times. Then you might reduce the heat and do it every 30 seconds. So these are the main thing. And if you do that, I guarantee you're gonna have a perfect kebab kubide. So let me show you how to do that one more time. We already mixed because you know, you already saw my video for how to make it. This is already mixed and wet your hand. Take some about like a 100 gram, 110. If you're not sure about that, you can keep it. So you don't have to go that much. You take it less because it's going to be not heavy, so it's going to be sticking better. So when you put it here, right like this, go again and wet your hand and go down to the skewer. Turn it on, make sure, stick them together and push them down. One more time, come back and this time go with your finger and shape them and go about the size of your barbecue or manga. This is how it is. So I guarantee it never is gonna fail. You know, you can move it around, you know, it's gonna stick. So this is how you wanna do it. Okay, again, it's about one inch skewer that you take the Persian amount that is not too heavy and make sure your hand is wet again go right like this as soon as you put it you wet your hand again and go over it and push it down turn around do again push it down turn around and this time just make sure that everything's gonna be together, okay? And in practice like this, you're gonna get it. So as I said, you can go as long as you uh, your grill is. So don't go too far. So make it, you know, almost the same size. And again, Take another clean, dry skewer, 
with your hand take some of your ingredients and in the meat and go like this a few times make sure it just turn like a ball and go to your skewer as soon as you put it and secure it go ahead and fetch your hand again and push it again and go down till you make a nice and design it one skewer one more time and I made it smaller medium longer heavier so have few different size to make sure that you know it doesn't matter as long as you do the right thing with your hand take some make it to the ball and go like this secure it with your hand again and go down come back again do the same thing turn it on here we go okay here we going to have the last step of how to keep the beef on a skewer and here is our flame and grill so I'm going to show you as I said it's very important the first one minute one and a half every 10 second you turn it here we go as soon as you put it in there you turn it Do it again. Here kind of is secure that by turning it's been sealed and almost your confidence that you don't have to worry about it and it's gonna stay there so now you turn it every 30 seconds you don't have to do it every 10 seconds anymore till it's finished all right thank you for watching I really appreciate it. and as I said just practice you're gonna be master of it and having a wonderful dinner or lunch anytime you wish and again thank you one more time till next time see you love you all bye